All right, still on unit zero test, practice test. This is question 12. All right, so given that a 5% sucrose by mass, what additional information is necessary to calculate molarity of the solution? Okay, so molarity is uh, moles over liters, okay? So I need to figure out the moles of sucrose, and in order to get the moles of sucrose, I'm going to need the molar mass, right? So I know I need the molar mass, so I can eliminate these two choices. Let's think about whether or not we need to know the density. So if I know the molar mass, I can find the moles of sucrose, and I can find the total grams of the solution. So I can say that in a 100 gram solution, that there are 5 grams of sucrose and 95 grams of water, but I don't know um, what the volume of this is. So the only way I can find the volume is if I have some conversion that takes me either from grams or moles to liters. And the density does that. It's um, density is some mass over some volume. So I'm going to need both. Okay. All right, number 13. Which of the following is the best conductor of electricity? So we're looking for the, the highest concentration of ion, total ions, the number of ions, right? So they all have the same molarity, so this is not going to factor in. So I have to look at what this breaks up into. So this will break up into two ions for each mole. This will break up into five ions. This is molecular and will not break up at all, so I'll get no ions. Ammonium hydroxide, be careful, even though this starts with a nonmetal, this is ammonium. You always got to be on the lookout for that. So it's going to make an ammonium ion and a hydroxide ion for two. Beryllium sulfate is, beryllium is one ion. Whoops. Beryllium will be one ion, and the sulfate is the second ion, so that's going to be two ions. So the answer is going to be aluminum sulfate. And we're going to stop right there.